Hey, this is Kim Coughlin with PerryandKim.com. I am going to show you, really quick and dirty, how to fix your stranded inventory in bulk. Because we've all got stranded inventory and we don't like it, right? I've got 50 items right now. This is not going to fix the ones that are stranded because of uh, restrictions, but it will catch the ones that, can, that should be easily fixed. Go up to Reports, Fulfillment, and once you get in there, you will see that it went straight to my bulk fix stranded inventory. You can hover over other reports and set them as your default report. I set this one as my default report, so it comes straight here. You're going to click Request Download, which takes a couple minutes, doesn't take very long, but I already requested one for today. So click the Download button when that one becomes ready. And then you're going to open it up. And in here you see all the stranded inventory that is uh, stranded because it's missing information. So you've got your SKU, you've got your product ID, which is generally the ASIN. Product ID type, one just number one stands for ASIN, tells you that these are all listed by ASIN. The price at which you're listing it, you'll see that some of my prices are missing. This is why these items are stranded at the moment. Minimum and maximum pricing. I just like to set a good broad minimum and maximums to help keep my items from being deactivated due to potential pricing errors. You don't have to set these, but it reduces my errors, so I do it. Item condition 11 shows, stands for new. There's a lot of different conditions. If you sell used items, you may want to learn what those conditions mean. Ours are all new, so I can just drag 11 right down that column and fill them in. The last thing left here is to go through and fill in some prices. I'm just going to guess because I've got a repricer going which will correct my mistakes. Don't overthink this. Basically you just want to get these items live and then your repricer will fix them for you. If you don't have a repricer, get one. It's going to save you so much time. All right. I need to save my changes here. And then I can go back to Inventory, Add Product via Upload. Check and upload your inventory file. Come down here to Upload. Don't bother with the check, it's a waste of time. This file type is an inventory loader file. That won't always be selected by default, so make sure you get the right one or you're going to come back with errors. Choose File. I think this was the one right here. Hello. Okay. Upload. And that will take us right over here to where we can watch for the status. We're going to give it a couple of minutes for the file to be uploaded and processed. It takes maybe three to five minutes, not real long. And after about 15 minutes, go take a look at your stranded inventory. And whatever items are still stranded um, due to whatever items off that list that you just fixed are still stranded, you might want to open a case and ask seller support to help you with them. Because sometimes, no matter what you do on your side, things will just not go live. They have tools that are not available to sellers and they can fix it for you. So I'll give it about 15 minutes and then I will just automatically open a case and I'll say something like, I've used all the seller side tools available to fix these listings. They're still not live. Will you please help? And I'll give them a list of ASINs that didn't go live yet. And then usually within a day or two, they will fix most of them for me. And the ones that they don't, we'll look at again next week and do the same thing. And that is my uh, five-minute routine every Monday dealing with stranded inventory. Over and out.